Hi, my name is Edward Thompson. I'm a program manager for DevOps tools at Microsoft, and I'd like to show you how you can share code and collaborate using Git and pull requests hosted by Visual Studio Team Services. Here, I have a simple software project hosted in VSTS. Now, collaboration on software begins in the planning stage. So I'm starting in my list of work items for my project. And I can see that my coworker, Alice, has assigned a work item to me. If I click on that, I can get more details. And I see that she's asked me to improve the readme on our project so that we can provide better documentation to our end users. So the first thing that I wanna do is create a new branch. I could create a new branch in my local repository, but I can also create a new branch right from this work item. Since VSTS provides integrated work item tracking and code, this will actually create a link between the work item and the pull request that I'll eventually create. This gives me great visibility into the entire process of implementing this feature. Once that branch is created, I can move over to my local repository and fetch that branch from the server. Then I can switch to it locally and start doing my work. Here, I'm going to open up my readme in Visual Studio Code. I actually have some changes already written, so I'll just go ahead and paste them in. Once I'm ready to commit my changes to my branch, I'm going to be sure to type a helpful commit message. Finally, I'll commit the changes to my local repository. Then I'll switch back to the command line and push those changes up to the server. This is still just pushing the changes to my branch on the server. This isn't pushing them directly to my master branch. If I wanna integrate them to my master branch, I'll get a code review from my coworkers using a pull request. To do that, I'll switch back to Visual Studio Team Services. All I need to do is refresh the page and VSTS knows that I just pushed updates to my branch. It will suggest that I open a pull request to get those changes reviewed because VSTS helps guide you through the steps of creating a pull request to collaborate effectively. When I click create new pull request, I can add reviewers. I want my colleague Alice to take a look at these changes since it was her suggestion that I make them. When I'm happy with everything, I'll just click Create. Now the pull request is open, and since I added Alice as a reviewer, she got a notification that I'd like to collaborate with her on this issue. So let's take a look at what this looks like from her perspective as a code reviewer. When Alice opens Visual Studio Team Services, she has some frequently used options right at the top of the screen. One of those is My Pull Requests. So she'll be able to easily navigate to the code review that I requested her help with. When she clicks on that, she's taken to the pull request. And from there, she can click on the files tab to see all the changes that I've proposed. She can look at this diff and review my code. If she has comments on a particular line of code, she can add a note right on that line. Maybe she's noticed that I should be using the Oxford comma and wants to suggest that I change my documentation. Once Alice has made all the comments on her code review, she can indicate what she thinks the next step should be. If this code were really terrible, she could reject it outright. And if it's great, she can accept it. In this case, she has some suggestions for how to improve it, but she trusts that I'll fix things up so she can select approve with suggestions. That lets me know that once I've implemented her changes, I can go ahead and complete the pull request myself. When I get her feedback and come back to the pull request, VSTS helpfully lets me know that there's been changes since my last visit. I can scroll down and see Alice's comment, and I can reply to her right in line. Now, for something this simple, I can use the great editing experience built in to Visual Studio Team Services. All I have to do is navigate to the file in the file browser, then click Edit in the top right. Once I've fixed my grammatical mistake, I can click commit. And again, I wanna type a nice commit message for my collaborators. When I finalize my commit, that change will go into my branch and the pull request will be updated accordingly. Finally, I can navigate back to my pull request and complete it.
Once I do complete the pull request, then my two commits are merged into the master branch where they'll be available in the repository. You can see these new changes to my readme if I navigate back to the file on the master branch. My new readme is updated with useful documentation and it's included Alice's helpful feedback. Visual Studio Team Services provides a powerful workflow for software development, and it highlights the collaborative experience. To empower your team and begin collaborating with VSTS, visit aka.ms slash VSTS. You can get started for free, and with that, you get unlimited private Git repositories. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you'll improve your team's productivity and collaboration with Visual Studio Team Services.